Kanda. name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as forgiven people, we say the Gloria, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Shiva. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So we keep a moment of quiet before the collect for today, the sixth Sunday of Easter. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us <coughs> into the kingdom of your Son. <coughs> Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to life eternal through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. We hear the first reading. Thank you. 
thanks be to God. Our gradual hymn is number 271. Again, we'll sing the first and the last verses. gospel reader that's fine hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John glory to you O Lord As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. I've said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I've called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I've heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please do sit. May I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, Can I just check, is the microphone working? Yeah. Today is the sixth Sunday of Easter. The excitement of the Easter season is building almost to a climax. And for the past few weeks, we've been celebrating the joy of the resurrection and the presence of the risen Christ appearing first to his disciples and being among us still. On Thursday, Ascension Day, Jesus will be gone departing from his disciples and returning to be with his heavenly father for all eternity. So liturgically, we're approaching a turning point. And the lectionary reflects this by using the discourses of the Last Supper in John's Gospel. And in these words spoken on the night before he died, Jesus tries to prepare his disciples for the shock 
of his being taken away and to give them instructions, indeed more than instructions, commandments on how the church should live. We are to love one another as he loves us and we are to abide in his love as he abides in his father's love. Just fancy, writes the 20th century Anglican missionary Florence Allshorn. I even used to think I was rather good at it. I used to think that being nice to people and feeling nice was loving people. But it isn't. It isn't. Love is the most immense unselfishness, and it's so big I've never touched it. Florence Allshorn. From time to time, I come across people who ask why Christians use this word love so much. And maybe there's one answer from Francis Allshaw. It's so immense that we are still trying to touch it. So another word I want to use this morning about Christian love is real. It is when we become real to ourselves and to each other, when we ditch those roles we so often feel we need to play, it is then that we reveal the depth of human and so Christ-like love. And that's why I treasure the children's story, Becoming Real, by Marjorie Williams, maybe you know it. And so this morning I'd like to uh, invite you to sit comfortably while I tell you the story. The skin horse had lived longer in the nursery than any of the others. He was so old that his brown coat was bald in patches and showed seams underneath, and most of the hairs in his tail had been pulled out to string bead necklaces. He was wise for he'd seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive to boast and swagger and by and by break their mainsprings and pass away. And he knew they were only toys and would never turn into anything else. For nursery magic is very strange and very wonderful. And only those playthings that are old and wise and experienced like the skin horse understand all about it. What is real? asked the rabbit one day when they were lying side by side near the nursery fender before Nana came to tidy the room. Does it mean having things that buzz inside you and stick out like handles? Real isn't how you're made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. And when a child loves you for a long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Oh, does it hurt? asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse. But when you're real, you don't mind being hurt. Does it happen all at once, like being wound up? the rabbit asked. It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't often happen to people who break easily or who have sharp edges, or who have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off, and your eyes drop out, and you get loose in the joints, and very shabby. But these things don't matter at all, because once you're real, you can't be ugly, except to the people who don't understand. I suppose you're real, said the rabbit. And then he wished he hadn't, for he thought the skin horse might be sensitive. But the skin horse only smiled. The boy's uncle made me real, he said. That was a great many years ago. But once you're real, you can't become unreal again, and it lasts for always. Jesus says, You did not choose me, but I chose you. I chose you to love in a way which is real. 
because that is the only human love which will last for always. We now affirm our faith in God. We believe in one God, Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. And for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our prayers of intercession. Loving God, we pray that your healing hand may rest upon all our brothers and sisters around the world who have suffered and continue to suffer due to COVID-19. We pray that doctors, nurses and supporting staff who are still in the front line will be sustained by you. We thank all of these good people who have given their life-saving services with kindness, care, love and compassion. We give thanks for the success of our vaccination programme and pray that vaccines will soon be made accessible to all in all countries. As we emerge from lockdown, and into what we hope may be a brighter present and future. Let us nurture respect and solidarity with others, especially the poor, the marginalized and the homeless. Help us to be responsible, patient and hopeful and to be joyful as much as possible. Lord Jesus, give us the grace to hear your voice and the strength to build a more just and humane world. We place into your care all refugees and migrants and all victims of cruelty. 
all those who don't have anyone to hear their suffering and pain, all those who feel unloved, and also those who don't have anyone to love and to care for, all those who don't have anyone to listen to their stories, especially at this time children and young people who have suffered extra mental health problems because of lack of contact and with their peers and their teachers. We pray for their courage of heart and strength of mind and body. We thank you for the joys of beautiful springtime and emerging new life and hope. We thank you for the gift of life, all nature brimming with energy and the comforts of family, friendship and community. We commend to your loving care all those who have recently died and their families and all those on our prayer list. We hold them in our hearts. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Offer to him is 359, the first and the last verses.
which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your son, born of the Vir Blessed Virgin Mary, he lived on earth and went abroad among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. On the night he gave himself up for us all. Sorry. Let us pray together as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy kingdom. This day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you. Eat in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. keep you in eternal life. of Christ keep you in eternal life. of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. Body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life.
almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Uh, may we sing our hymn now, and I'll give the blessing later. Um, number 275. risen life and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be with each of you, with those who you love, those who you pray for, those who you remember and remain with you today and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.
I don't actually understand. I don't understand about five percent of it. A bit of a break and he's finished. That's a little Thank you. 